हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू पार्टनरशिप अकाउंट्स मेनी पीपल वर आस्किंग मी ईगरली वेटिंग फॉर दिस चैप्टर पार्टनरशिप अकाउंट इट्स वन ऑफ द इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इजी चैप्टर इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक नथिंग टू वरी एंड देर आर मेनी पीपल हु आर रिक्वेस्ट मी टू स्पीक इन देयर लैंग्वेज लाइक हिंदी और तेलुगू सॉरी बिकॉज इंग्लिश इज द कॉमन लैंग्वेज विच कैन कवर द ऑल ओवर इंडिया even outside of the india also people are following it so i'm using english simple english easily you can understand so coming to the partnership accounts here you know that partners who are the partners two are more than two than more than two members together when they wanted to start any kind of business with the aim of profit when they start any kind of business that we call it as a partnership Uh, we call all the partners as partner each and every member in the partnership is we call them as a partner and together the organization partnership business we call it as a firm partner and firm partner means members of the partnership and firm f i r m firm means company or you can say business totally partnership business we call it as a firm together this partnership firm is formed in the act of 1932 1932 partnership firm has decided and it has given some rules and regulations how a partners can run the business and what are the rules and regulations we know already we have learned about this partnership business in business organization management subject already so that link you can find it in the downside bom subject so there i i spoke about partnership in depth now anyway let me give you a small introduction what is this partnership in partnership the main features if you see will get an understanding about the partnership what are the main features the first thing is that minimum members how many members are required for the partnership minimum two members are required and maximum is 10 members and if it is non banking 20 members like if this members are available then they can start the business and second thing is that agreement between the partners there must be an agreement that agreement can be oral or written likhe agreement kar sakte yani muh se bol ke bhi kar sakte hai but always preferred to be a written agreement written agreement is always better because it's a written proof evidence and tomorrow if any clashes comes they can get a clarification about this everything is written so that is why agreement it's better to be in written okay agreement is must and it is going to solve a lot of problems and it is going to work out very well without any conflicts between the partners next one is that lawful whatever business people are doing people in the sense partners that business should be lawful unlawful illegal activities type of business no it's not going to entertain so that's not partnership so that will become illegal automatically so it 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 will be registered under the crime activities so that is why it's a lawful it must be lawful and all the partners are anyone who can do this business all the partners can involve in this partnership business or otherwise any one can do the business or any two members can do the business it is their wish it is not mandatory or required all the partners has to do the business not required any one can do or any one can be a sleeping partner not involved simply supplied the capital anything can happen anything possibility is there and another thing is that unlimited liability this is one of the main feature of the partnership firm and also in the sole proprietor unlimited liability liability their liability is unlimited whenever the partnership gets into loss their liability will be always unlimited they may lose even their own property also because of the loss huge loss in the business main features are this now if you see capital accounts partners will be preparing their capital accounts capital accounts how do they prepare there are two methods to prepare the capital account one is fixed capital account and fluctuating capital account if it is a fixed capital account will be preparing two accounts one is fixed account 
another one is present account. Or we can say it as a current account. Fixed account, if we are following fixed capital account, we will have two accounts. One is fixed account, let us not use the present account, we will use the one word that is current account. Fixed account and current account, both the accounts we are going to prepare. Fixed account will be fixed, will write only the capital which is supplied by the partner, that amount only will write, not anything else, it is fixed. We do not want any fluctuations, so that is why it is fixed. And whereas current account, current capital account, so in current capital account we will be writing all kind of transactions related to the partners like what is the salary given to the partner, what is the in rate of interest on capital is given to the partners, how much we are charging on interest and drawings like anything related to the partners transactions we will write it into the current account, partners current account right. So, this is about fixed capital account, next one is fluctuating capital account, we have only one account, this is one account only. fluctuating capital account. Here we will write capital and all kind of adjustments, everything comes in this account only because it is fluctuating capital account. So, we need not to prepare two accounts, two accounts we are going to prepare fixed capital account. If we are following fixed capital method, then we will be preparing two accounts, fixed account and current account. Fixed capital account will say fixed current account, fixed uh, sorry, current ca current capital account we will say. So, like we will be preparing two accounts, any method, which method we are following, we must have an idea. According to that, we will open the accounts. Now, let me tell you very important thing. You know that uh, profit and loss account, we have learned in the final accounts, profit and loss account. Why do we prepare profit and loss account? To know the profit or loss of the organization. What do we write it in the profit and loss account? all the indirect expenses on the debit side and indirect incomes on the credit side, expenses, incomes and uh, so the balance which we get that we call it as a net profit or net loss. If income is more, expenses are less, we get a profit. If expenses are more, income is less, then we get a loss. So, there we are going to get net profit or net loss, that is profit and loss account. After preparing the profit and loss account, simultaneously, immediately, we will be preparing profit and loss appropriation account. Profit and loss account is you know, here you are going to get net profit, net profit on the debit side. After preparing this profit and loss account, we are going to prepare profit and loss appropriation account. So, this is only in partnership we will prepare not in any other accounts. When do we prepare this profit and loss appropriation account? After the profit and loss account. There we got net profit, right? Profit and loss account. That we are transferring on the credit side, debit side there, right? Now here we are transferring on the credit side. With this net profit, we will start the profit and loss appropriation account. Are you getting it? Profit and loss, profit and loss appropriation account, we are preparing after the profit and loss account. There we have net profit, so that we are transferring debit to credit side. And what else we will write it in the profit and loss appropriation account. First thing is that interest on loan. Uh, loan is given by the partners to the business firm. If I am the partner, if I give loan of 1 lakh rupee to the organization, then I am eligible to get interest on loan. So, that is interest on loan. How much will be the interest on loan? Generally, it is said that 6 percent. If I give 1 lakh rupees 6 percent, I will be getting interest on loan. So, that interest on loan will be writing on the debit side. Whatever we are paying to the partners, that comes on the debit side, interest on loan. So, that is from the partners. If interest on loan, loan taken from banks or somewhere, we do not take only related to the partners. So, interest on loan from partner that amount will write it on the debit side and also interest on capital. Capital also every partner will be distributing some amount. So, this capital also will write it on the debit side. 
how much capital is supplied on that interest will pay so that interest also will be writing on the debit side interest on loan interest on capital next salary oblique commission salary or commission also we have to pay to the partners how much salary you are paying sometimes partners may not be uh, coming with a the capital they won't be uh, distributing or they won't be contributing the capital so in such cases we are going to give them salary for their services that salary how much and sometimes commission on commission basis also we may take partners so what is this commission how much commission we are giving it so that inter salary or commission will be writing on the debit side apart from the transfer of reserves see here we got net profit out of this net profit some amount will be transferring to the reserves that reserve if at all transferring then that reserve will come here if no reserve will ignore it so ha hardly we have four transactions on the debit side one is interest on loan interest on capital salary or commission given to the partners and reserves that's all debit side we have only four transactions credit side you know that net profit which is transferred from debit side of profit and loss account to here apart from that we'll have only one transaction interest on drawing it's an income for the partnership firm we are charging interest on drawings suppose out of 10 lakh rupees of the partnership firm if any partner is drawing 10000 rupees on 10000 we can charge interest that is interest on drawings that is why we'll write it on the credit side so only one transaction comes on the credit side apart from the net profit debit side we have three transactions sorry four transactions including reserves this is profit and loss appropriation account generally credit side will be more and uh, the amount the balance amount is here we call it as a net profit net profit transferred to partners account net profit we are transferring to the partners account and how we have to transfer as per the uh, as per the distributed ratio or as per the part uh, as per the capital ratio as per the decided ratio sometimes they'll say that three partners are there a b c they are sharing the profits in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1 it's given very clearly so that profit we are going to distribute them at the decided rate 3 is to 2 is to 1 say for example credit side is 1 lakh total assuming all this things comes to 50000 or say 30000 1 lakh minus 30000 comes to 70000 so net profit is here 70000 70000 net profit partners are three partners in which ratio you have to give 3 is to 2 is to 1 So at this ratio, we'll be distributing the seventy thousand. How do you decide? For A, it is seventy thousand into three by six. Whatever amount get, it will be given to the A. And in the same way for B, seventy thousand into two by six. And for C, seventy thousand into one by six. Like whatever amount get, that will be given to the partners. So this is profit and loss appropriation account. once if we prepare the profit and loss appropriation account easily we can prepare the partners capital accounts partners capital account it may be fixed capital or fluctuating capital method that we need to be very careful right now today's class remember about profit and loss appropriation account you can pause the video take a, a snap or otherwise you can note down the things so this is introduction of partnership accounts in the coming classes will work out directly the problems will come to know exactly how do you prepare profit and loss appropriation account and partners capital account whether it's a fixed or fluctuating both the methods will see but stay connected previous subject subjects also many subjects i already taught all the links are given in the description box many times people will be asking madam can you prepare brs brs already over bank reconciliation statement and sometimes people ask about funds flow statement that is also over sometimes people say regression analysis in the statistics that is also over like many topics already over if you want to search go to the playlist and you'll find the subjects get into the 
playlist and you will come to know how many topics I have covered. Or any doubt you can just type on the YouTube Devika Bhatnagar depression, depression, oh, sorry, depreciation. Depreciation accounts, you'll, depression means generally it's a motivational topic I have already covered. So depreciation, Devika Bhatnagar fund flow statement, Devika Bhatnagar working capital like you can type with my name automatically you will get that link instantly without much struggle. Right? So keep in touch, more topics I am going to cover. So till then keep practicing well, don't lose your confidence, give your best. Good luck.